Hey, are you stuck at a plus 11 weapon and dreamed about a plus 12 every waking day of your DFO career? If you're like me, you want to be grinding these events ASAP. What is up? My name is Luke Pone and welcome to your bi-weekly update patch in a form of a video. DFO launched a content creator campaign, so you bet I'll be pumping out content as much as I can. Support your boy by liking and subscribing. But anyways, back to the video. Wow, Luke, do I get free stuff? Hell yeah. Not only does this event guarantee a success from plus 11 to plus 12 on any gear piece permanently, but it gives you a temporary ditto epic every week. Yeah, you heard me. Every week. That's four ditto epics if I'm reading this correctly. But as a disclaimer, you never know. It's Neopo wording. So once you decide which epic you want, you can either reinforce it to a guarantee plus 15 or amp it to a plus 12. So of course you want to pick something like a weapon and plus 15 it, but say you're 2-3 of a set or 4-5 of a set and you're just missing that last, last piece. Grab that last epic using the event ditto you need for the full set and then amp it. Use the events grimoire on it and then head over to the respective tab to upgrade it. Now it may look confusing at first, but essentially you want to buy these um, reinforcing or amping stones and then you upgrade each ticket from 1% to 100% in order of these scrolls. All you need to do is grind a ton of optimal dungeons for these material drops. I recommend grinding Black Shrine for potential epic drops, uh, something like Stormy Lane for some currency farming, or the new Neo Leg Dungeon if you're totally committed going down that path. Because unfortunately, it does take quite a long time to grind Neo Legendaries. And speaking of that, there's a new area in town called the Dark Dimension, where you run it alongside three of your own characters. Now each run takes around 8 uh, fatigue points and reduces your entry by 5, starting at 300 at the max. And all these entries are character shared. Every reset time you will get 150 energy or stability entry thingies for this dungeon. Please note that when you're using all three of your characters, plus the main one that you're uh, farming legendaries on, if you go into the attack mode phase here, like you put all your characters in attack mode, it will consume clear cubes, respective to the skills they're using. So uh, be careful of that, because your clear cubes will drain fast. Running this dungeon allows you to buy Neo Legendaries, which are a nice upgrade to the typical level 100 Legendaries you farm at 10 plus 10 or currently now it's 5 plus 5. And if you manage to get the product of wisdom for that legendary set, it becomes as strong as top tier epics like Lucky Triangle and you will have around 1500 mats just from finishing the event milestones alone. But still, it is a tedious grind. And finally, there are some other nice events like the Path of the Season Surfer and the most epic of all events that give some very nice freebies. That give some very nice freebies. All you gotta do is clear optimal dungeons three times for the surfer one. And since you're gonna do all that farming and grinding for those other events previously mentioned, you will accumulate them either way. And also for the uh, most epic of all event, be sure to collect 10 mystical keys daily and open it, open the luminous lost treasure. The big reward at the end of 25 days doing this every day is a level 100 epic weapon transfer for free. So be sure to claim your event loots daily. And that's all for the August 4th patch for Dungeon Fighters Online. If you found this informative, or you have some questions, please feel free to contact me on my Discord or leave a comment below on YouTube. And thanks for watching, and until next time.